People working in Northeast Travis County are calling for changes tonight after a woman died at a busy intersection. Investigators tell us the woman was hit and killed after she failed to yield to an oncoming car. This happened at the intersection of Three Points Road and Pecan Street near Pflugerville. KXAN's Chris Sadegi spoke with people nearby who say the road should be blocked off. All he heard was a big bang down the block. Uh, we knew what it was and it just we knew we didn't even have to go look. But for those that did look, they saw this in the same spot where there's no stoplight and drivers speeding by, the spot David Mullins avoids. So you'll never go that direction? No. He's worked for five no. years on Three Points Road and always goes the opposite direction, away from the intersection where a woman died Tuesday. It's an awkward angle and there's a lot of speed there. And, it's and also a lot of cars we saw going from one end to the other. Three Points Road is a very short and small road with just a few businesses on it, but those businesses say that it's used as a cut through to and from I-35, and it's when the small road meets the busy Pecan Street that the disaster happens. Now they're just using this road as a cut through to 35 to save them a few minutes. Derek Harris works on Three Points Road, and his boss has handed down an order. No employee for us is allowed to make a left-hand turn off of Three Points Road onto Pecan anymore. Not until there's a light there or they shut this down. David had the same idea. Block it off. Cut it off to cut through traffic. One he thinks might be the only way to stop the danger. Every week we see wrecks like this, and we're just we're just kind of tired of it. And In Pflugerville, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. The Department of Public Safety says the other driver involved has been released from a Round Rock hospital. Pecan Street or 1825 is considered a state road, so we asked TxDOT if they're planning to make any changes. Right now, they told us there are not any plans in the works, but they did say once a complaint is made, they will send out a crew to see if a signal or any other signs are needed. The Hayes